Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today in my creative corner where we're going to be making these four tickets using Tracy Evans' latest release for All and Create. As you can probably hear, I am absolutely full of a cold and I have a slightly croaky voice, so please bear with me. Um, I'm sure that we can get through it. I might have to keep the talking short, um, so we'll see. Anyway, these are the three stamp sets that we're going to be using. Um, so the big number set, text set, and then some of the flower sets um, as well. And this is what we're aiming to produce by the end of the video. So we'll start off um, by cutting some strips of card. Um, so you can see here that um, it is just short of a 30 centimetre ruler in length and um, it's four centimetres wide um, on the tickets. So I've cut some uh, strips and then I decided to not quite use the full length because I want three separate ticket strips um, with different lengths. So I've cut that full length into two. So we'll work on these two parts and you can see here that first of all i'm just applying a really light color of um ink with my brush so this is antique linen distress ink um that's on this brush and this will be the back side of the card so i'm going in again on the edges just with some uh brown ink just to distress that card slightly. So next we'll move on to the front of the card and I'm going to use a scrap of paper um, because I want the tickets to all be different colours. So I'll ink blend up to the edge of the paper and that will give me a nice crisp line in between the colours for the different tickets. So as we're coming up to finishing that ink blending, you can see that the colours aren't laid down perfectly. That really doesn't matter because we're going to be stamping over the top. 
Um, so with all of those colours um, in place, I'm now going to move on to the scoring board and I'm going to score down the line um, of each of those tickets um, and this will help create the bend um, in the ticket strip in the final project. So just scoring down that centre line on each one. And then using the bone folder just to go over that crease. So next, I just want to distress those edges slightly. So again, I'm adding just a little bit of brown ink to the edges. And this is just the ink that's left over on my brush. Um, you really don't need a lot of ink, just a really light touch, just to give that a slightly uh, distressed edge. So now I'm going to take a paper punch and I'm going to use a really small semicircle to cut away the edges of those tickets um, at both the outer edges and along the crease lines as well and this just gives them the ticket shape. And here I'm uh, creating a four perforated effect down those centre lines. You know, if you were looking at tickets on an actual roll, there would be perforations so that each of the tickets could be torn off. Um, so I'm just creating a faux effect um, for that here, just using this porky tool. Um, I know that there are special perforation tools that you can get. So if you have one, by all means, use that. Um, this is just my kind of other method. So you can see here those perforations. So with the base of the tickets done, it's now time to move on to some of the stamping. Um, so I'm going to start off by selecting um, some of the day and week um, sections on the bottom of the stamp. So you can see there it says kind of one hour, one day. And I'm going to stamp... Um, a different sentiment on the 
um, left hand edge of each of those tickets. So next, I'm using the number stamp. Now, this is a great, you know, background stamp with all those different numbers. But I actually just want to pick out single numbers uh, from this stamp. So you can see here that I'm using some paper scraps to mask off the sections of the stamp that I don't want to ink. And then I can just ink a single number at a time.
Now I'm ready to add some of the flower elements. So these are kind of the main focal image on the tickets. And I'm going to put a different flower on each of the tickets. So here I'm just selecting the different flower stamps that I want to use. Um, and placing that stamping in the centre of those tickets. And the final touch is to add just a little bit more background text. So again, I'm going back to the text stamp and I'm going to use the middle section um, and just using a lighter coloured grey ink uh, rather than the black just to give a bit more contrast um, to that finished result. And I'm just roughly placing that down um, so that it isn't, you know, dead clean uh, stamping. It's just a bit of rough extra background detail. Thank you. 
with the stamping complete i'm now going to add um a border around the tickets and this just finishes the tickets off nicely um so you can see i'm just leaving a very thin edge um and i'm going down the top bottom and each side on each of the tickets And that's the tickets complete. So here you can see the finished results. I think they look really effective and these would be really nice to, um, you know, use on cards and things. And I've actually got um, a make coming up that actually shows uh, one of these tickets on an actual uh, card make. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the croaky voice wasn't too annoying. Um, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button, all that usual stuff. And until next time, wishing you a happy creative week. Bye.